Hey y'all, today is my first ever Fourth Friday Open Playlist and it is hosted by myself and my dear friend Sarah from Jujube DIY. I'm gonna have a link to her channel as well as a link to the playlist in the description box below and I do hope you check it out. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. This first project is a sign that I got from Dollar Tree and I am using Waverly Wax in the color Antique to stain it. I tend to, I kind of get my little piece of material wet, dip it in the stain and kind of go over it that way. I know some folks paint it on and some folks paint and wipe and I don't know. This is how I do it. I am also doing the back because I want both sides of the sign to look finished just in case not that you would really ever see the back but just in case you did I wanted it to look complete as well now that the sign is completely dry I used my Cricut to cut out some decals that I'm gonna now put on the sign and I'm just kind of carefully going because sometimes those, especially those thinner letters, they lift up a little bit. So I'm just using this tool that I got from the Dollar Tree to kind of hold it down and pressing and going back over and pressing and holding down. And I eventually get all the letters on and I didn't have, I didn't have that much lifting. Now I'm putting the words you pick and 25 cents on there. Now what I don't, these sunflowers are from the Dollar Tree by the way. And I'm just trying to glue them on and because the space between you pick and 25 cents was a little bit off like I think the you pick should have been a little bit closer together maybe and the 25 cents I don't know I, I felt like it left a weird space right there so I decided to go back in and glue a fourth sunflower they have these out at the Dollar Tree right now or at least at mine and that's how that sign turned out pretty cute Here's another look at how that first project turned out. I took a white pitcher and I filled it with sunflowers and I propped the little sign underneath it. I just wanted to remind y'all, if you're into crafts and you might be if you're watching my videos, <laughs> then I invite you to join our Facebook group. Sarah from Jujube DIY and I have a Facebook group and it's all about crafts and we'd love for you to join. The link is gonna be in my description box below so I hope you check it out. This next project is going to be for my front door. It's gonna be a wreath and I think you're gonna like it. I am just taking the smaller hula hoop from the Dollar Tree and removing that glittery paper that's on the outside and I am leaving it black. Although you could spray paint it another color. I got this balsa wood from a local hardware store. It's called Elliot's. I'm sure you could get it. I'm sure you could get it at like Lowe's or Home Depot or something. I don't know, I've never tried to look for it there. I just know where it's at at Elliot's and that's where I got it. So I am just trying to measure it down. I did cut it a little bit larger than the hoop and I'm just trying to trim away, trim away so that I have it flesh, flesh, flush with the, with the hula hoop. Now it's time to stain that piece of balsa wood and I'm using Waverly Wax in the color Antique to do this. Then I really, you know, I saw a lot of crafters using this for a long time and I, d I never bought any. And now that I bought some, I feel like I'm obsessed. I just love the color that it brings out. It's a nice, to me, a nice dark, rich color. Now it is time to add the floral foam and I am taking my, oh, I forgot to tell you, I got inspo for this project from a little bit of Colin Crazy. Is that her name? Oh my gosh. Yes, it's a little bit of Colin Crazy. Anyway, I'll have a link to that video of hers in the description box below as well. But anyway, I got these green floral foams from the Dollar Tree. I use that little thing that I don't know the name of it. I use that to kind of cut out a little groove for the hula hoop. And then I just put a bunch, a bunch of hot glue to secure it all down. 
Now I want to add a decal to the sign and I chose to, I cut it out using my Cricut and it says hello. Now the, you can write anything you want. You could write welcome, you could write, I don't know, you could write anything you want, howdy if you wanted to, but I just wrote the word hello. I love how the white pops off that antique wax in the color, uh, no, Waverly wax in the color antique. I like how it pops off that antique color. I just think it looks so pretty. And if I didn't mention it before, part of the challenge was to use sunflowers in our front door, front porch refresh. So I got most of my flowers, if not all of them, from the Dollar Tree. And I'm putting in the sunflowers first, and then I'm filling them in with mums. There were these like red sunflowers and some other, I don't even know all the names of them. But I'm just kind of filling them in how I think they look nice and trying to make that little side look full. Now I've got to figure out where to put the hello, like how to position it. Should it be more this way, that way? Yeah, I've got to kind of figure that out. I think that looks good. So I am going to put hot glue down to secure it. And in hindsight, I guess I could have used E6000 or some other glue. I don't know, but I used hot glue. Hoping I don't get Captain's tail on the way. And just pushing down. It seems to be holding fine, but it is super hot in Texas. So I'll let you know if I have any trouble. And you can let me know in the comments below if I should have used a different glue. Here's how the wreath looks on my front door and I absolutely love it. I think it gives such a great pop of color and I, I used two suction cups to hold it up. I need a little bit better method for that. And I found that the floors were pretty heavy so it was making it tilt to one side. So I added some little weights to the back of the sign on the right so that it would balance it out and then just stay nice and even. Here's another look at my porch. That tic-tac-toe game board that you see there was from a previous video. I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description box below. These pillow covers, the 18 by 18 ones, the smaller ones, those were actually gift from a company and I'm gonna leave a link to them in the description box below if you'd like to get a set for yourself. Here's how I'm at. Wreath looks on my front door. I just absolutely, guys, I love it. I hope you do too. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And then moving on, this church pew we got for free. They were, they were giving them away and we we're like, yes, it'll go great on my front porch. And I do have it covered with pillows and there's a couple of the other pillows in that set that I'll have in the link below. And here's another peek at the sign that I made and I paired it with that white base and the sunflowers and I think it looks cute. Thank y'all so much for joining me for my first ever fourth Friday playlist and I'm going to have a link to that playlist in the description box below as well as all the other links that I mentioned earlier and I hope you check them out and see what everybody else created. And don't forget if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye!